Discovery 4 computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function. people do it.
Okay, so music game going. So yeah, last we left off, we're dealing with viewers. Fun part now. All right. One else carried. That's the memory. The pastures, the bears to win twenty. I think you should stop waving that needle around. You press to see what happens. I would get Coachman 7 4, didn't you? It's a hideous man stabbed the poor fellow just like this. That's what he said, right? Kill the part of the low wheel. Place 2. Resting my legs there while I get on with knitting. Anyone who donates to like the place of the Oh, that was wrong. Who would have thought he was a miserable marine moneylender? Must sprout or notice. I'm sure she be as guilty now. But yes. He's in the bottom two jars of the statements to make his job. Oh, I think I have one in mind. But perhaps what you were just thinking? How did you know? Take the liberty of doing some research in case you happen to find yourself in just the situation. Okay. What about out? Well, cool on, I'm afraid. Uh, sure. During the simulation examination, you'll hear the descriptions of six members. Mission Council for the should use that pit, yeah. He's pitted with another. And so you'll be able to compare the chosen session with those of the jurors. Press one button to send the descriptions again. Shoes off the one that she Nor you can't choose such as jurors who are going to not guilty on them. Okay, various jurors' assertions. We should look out two contradictions and together. Okay. I was joking when I just said it was the one. Just don't listen to it very carefully to what each individual juror has to say. Okay? I'm sure you'll start to see which ones might not quite agree with each other. <clears throat> Alright then. Right now, so I'm going to listen to that long boring collision again. That's spirit. Alright then. Let's see. As the memory sink, the pressure bears to only 20 pence. I want to say that and the old lady can be attacked. Yeah. 
Makes no sense. Objection. This statement is clear to the contact each other. You do explain yourself, counsel. Hey, oh dear, what have I said? Trying to several places in Maine and name. And the first idea we should talk about. Ooh, nice animation. Where did the group testimony have heard so far? There were four passengers on the omnibus on the night in question. According to the coachman, though he took 20 pence in fare. Right, I had those precise details type of thing in front of me. Would you remember if I was close to the following? Fares for the omnibus always four pence. It is a very convenient seat for us, just the way London's carriages could be operated. That doesn't add up at all. In fact, it leaves a glaring discrepancy in the facts. Why, man, why? For passengers paying four pence each, if you do the multiplication, there'll only be 16, right? It'd be 16 pence, and yet he said I got 20. Which means there wasn't actually a fifth passenger. Exactly, as I said, it doesn't add up. The figures are different. Four pence, in fact. Plus a one person spare. One person spare? Yes, in other words, on the omnibus that night, it's possible the classroom we heard nothing about. Heh <laughs> heh. the pricing doesn't add up. This, this can't be right. Which one of the deal with the honest men when all trips by the nests are watched for? Here is what you're playing with something like that. The watch will be good, sir. I beg your pardon? To kill master, I think you ought to consider that if this trial were to end now, the news will surely spread all over. The news that only the coachman tried to hide the fact that he that the various characters were on the album. Yeah. Right then, how do I know? This trial doesn't end here. Where are you make both here? Watch qualifier in his side sets the same. Hands on you, Bebo. <laughs> Look, innocent. Yeah. <laughs> this is very irritating. I'm going to do the same. But we got two on our side. Yay. Of oh, my got you as well. <laughs> Then you can be a difference between a smile and a tear out of them. I don't keep on trusting someone who doesn't follow my exact standards in financial matters. Hopefully. I, for one, think it's only proper that we hear from the witnesses again. Then, Mr. Argo, you did it. You may have changed two more jurors' mind and forced the trial to kill you. Kill you. Actually, That's where you must strike next. They need to put two more jerseys at each other and show the person the contradiction. Yeah, well, you can do it. Well, the scales of justice have shifted. Still weigh heavy on the side of guilt. I'll see you on the floor again. Continue with the summonation and examination. Yeah, I think I already know. You have this, and I think... I feel like... Boy, 
Explain, Council Post Haze. Oh, dear me, I was zoomed in and jumped from my craft. all this claptrap, what does contradictory even mean, I ask you? I've heard from more than one more. They allegedly saw the actual moment when the defendant stabbed me. Out of curiosity, juror number three. But, can you see I'm busy here? Trying to get a knife out of the board? Why would you say this defendant stabbed the victim? What sort of motion was it? Yes, me, do you? Like this, stuck up on next to him without even getting up. Like the young banker said. Notice that was Mr. Fairplace's money, quite true. And then journal number six. Who was that? Is it? Who did you hear that? How would you say that the defendant stabbed the victim then? Well, it appears, as far as I can understand it, this stabbed the poor man after he collapsed on the floor. Coachman said so. Don't know. Look at these two drawers. Stuck the fellow next to him without even getting up. And he stabbed the poor man after he collapsed on the floor. Well, I never there. They're stabbing in totally different directions. Messages? What a muddle. Oh, I love the dialogue. This tells us. There's a strong possibility one of the witnesses isn't telling the truth. Oh. But why? Why are the bacons with them? I don't know that yet. So, how it ends at this point where you never find out when they I gentlemen don't really let that happen in good conscience. What are you saying? You're hearing me. Oh, well there it's a can't abide people telling lies. And the scales are scales. Hear this one, Lord George. I'm telling you, do not listen to this man. Look at him in his black suit. He, he's got some devious Eastern sorcerer using magic on us all. Oh my god. I can use magic. I don't think I can give myself through all this. Answer me this stuff, please. What? Me? Mm -hmm. Exactly is the problem. What if two witnesses are slightly different reflections of other say the shrine all fits them? That makes sense. The game is true. Let's say the black one for and then the shrine all fits them. This old lady's on the No, let's say it happened like hmm? I should take this back to you. My old. Take this needle to you. Oh my fucking god, this dialogue. Oh, they're ready to kill each other now. How could the form of the jury be? The two ones. Each one. Same crime. That's what we want to see. The two of us both here for almost the same crime. Hey, that's out of the question. Show me something. <laughs> Hard evidence. 
real quick. Give me the proof. I have a question of two illicit assaults for almost the same crime as proven. I what? Hello? You know what they say. Oh, B. Uh, right here, though. But no one always wait about this. Oh my god, really? That's not right. I thought it'd be right. Different moments, two words. Just the two times. The person was it for? A single stab wound. Victim of autopsy. According to what's written here, Mr. Mason was stabbed here. Mm -hmm. Did that only once? Yeah, it's quite simple. The victim was stabbed less than one time. Which means witnesses could have seen it happen two different times. Defeat. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. That means what jurors are now leaning to not guilty. Yeah, Mr. Arhoda. One. And clearly, we have. You play out of that, you dandy fool. Someone deceives me. Now I can sense this. You're trapped. Oh, liar, nasty one. And if the chav ever dares to cross the threshold of my shop, looks like the first shop light and shave every last hair off his head. And you're really creepy. Please tell me, Barbara. Oh, what a remarkable turn of events. The defense summonation examination has flipped the balance of the scales of ghost. Jurors now stand at two for guilty and four for not guilty. Currently, there is no longer a large enough majority among the jurors for me to educate. The trial must continue. Return their place. Not all of you to continue pursuit of truth. Also, I forgot to switch the live screen. Sorry, guys. Now you guys can see the game. Well, events, you continue to substantiate the case for the prosecution. Please. Oh wow, he broke the glass. Let's go. We <laughs> savor the rich aroma of the carmine contents of this hollow chalice. It may seem crass to crush us. Pray for him. Roll down Zeus. Hold him here, it's just me. As your antiquated tone no doubt says, the prosecution may not speak during the summonation examination. I'm to get the silence and listen to the shrug. Seems I overestimated the intelligence of the jury. Well, no doubt, there is nothing so far to prove as a well, then why else would we grace the courtroom with our presence after all? So, let's proceed to the next round of battle. 
Oh, that's okay, don't be serious. Bring forward the witnesses once more. Witnesses? I trust you heard the examination. Examination? We have just had to endure. <clears throat> Yes, very that I did, sir. Must have it. Yes, sir. Right. You saw on the end the coach. I believe it's oh. Yes, sir, my lord, sir. If it transpires that your previous testimony for attempting to fail the presence of this pastor on your omnibus. Be found guilty of perjury. I advise to bear that in mind. Oh, oh. oh my dear. Well, then, witness, I hereby call. Yeah. You will explain the various misgivings brought to our attention by the defendants. Summation examination. Alright, we're skipping, let's go! Only carried four pastures tonight. Here, but. Several will have made five minutes. That was not fair, he did. I saw that blood curl. I just felt. It's all too much. I'll tell you what, I saw my blood curl. I think I said before staying. Yes, yes, he stabbed him. Yes, he did. Think so? Council makes sense. Please. The passenger caught by my learned Eastern friend. This is. Fusion has arisen from the coachman's sly little pussy. I will explain yourself. I'm terribly sorry I killed that. Kills various apartments across the map. I don't understand that you've been on church and fashion by any affair. So, last run of the day is always half. You have been dishonest, Coachman. Sorry. Alright. You're a disgrace, Beppo. A disgrace. And yourself's actions have brought dishonor on the entire field. I may, sir. I had to pay ten pence on the bus just last week. Four passengers of five pence each. In I cannot do voices right now. My throat's giving up right now. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do voices. <clears throat> I'm really acting up. I've been six, ten times already. Just can't make the results go. No, that. I was trying, but my throat's acting up. Well, it would appear that one of the aforementioned misgivings has already been explained. As for the cross animation, I've already had the pleasure of the summation. Examination, summation exam. Okay. So you intend to continue the parlor games? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Just agree. Okay. Mm, let's see. Only for pastors. Mm. Who cares that you didn't charge them the sinker full of here? I still didn't make the last one of the day. Football, all I can do is stop myself. Fascinating. 
Don't breach the city. Yeah. That's terrible. So I want to give myself an attack. Attack. Plus rain. So do that again. There are pipes across the board. Oh, maybe it's probably. Look at the stress we used. My friend identified. This is what it's for. Can't be clear, you're so dead. Oh, dead and buried. I've been having a crisis in the first place. Very good, but nice one. was on the floor. I was hearing this out loud, and then I played an ice, ice pick brick. I suppose. Try to be just put the part of the horse, maybe. What's this? I'm not sure about the most of it. From the horse to her, scream from the seat of the roof deck. Thinking. I didn't really see the government fellow was stabbed. The chances of that. Okay. Ask me or tell me. I don't mind telling you. Here's the fireplace. I'm gonna give you a little pile of color there, too. I see you suddenly your testimony with a clear statement about what exactly you saw. Feel that right? It's just how great it was. I forget the sight of those blood soaked hands up through the bush. Man, uh. First of all, they're gloves and it's not even blood soap. Blood soap hand. I meant the soap might be plain. Thick, but. Anyways, there's definitely blood all over them. Both of them were covered in it. I don't know what more. I'm very sorry to disagree, Mr. Barry, but that's more than a little peculiar. 
Here are the gloves worn by the defendant who is from the gilded on the night in question. Oh, yes, right. And there certainly does appear to be a sizable dark colored stain here. But I'm sure you can clearly see. I'm on the right hand in glove. Oh my god! I need to turn lights on. Give me that. He's, he's, uh, he's losing it. He's trying to eat his cane off. In short, Mr. Fairplay, the testimony is inconsistent. Guard. No. But, but no, that can't be right. But it is. It is right. You fail. You fail because you don't realize it. <laughs> You're the liar here, then. <laughs> He's getting so aggravated. It's funny. That's right. You were quite clear about it. You said <laughs> it was both hands. I'm trying to like just break his cane, man. In his mouth, get splinters and blood in his mouth. Uh, Mr. Fairplay, your last statement wasn't lying. Calls your entire testimony in question. You say you saw the moment the victim was stabbed, but is that really the truth? Or will I? Objection! A simple mistake, you can't just by accusing this man of lying. Yes, so it wasn't both hands, it was only one. The fact remains. Because the blow was on the accused. Objection! Well, Mr. Fairplay's category stated that he saw blood all over his hand. Which means there is a strong possibility that he's definitively trying to mislead the court. <laughs> I mean, that's not wrong. I why I'm a city banker for pity's sake. My word should be the gold standard. Well, not some better snipe. Any member of society's don't revocate. You think you have no reason to lie? Is that really the case? Is that really the case? Uh huh? Mm. Is there evidence to explain why Mr. Fairplay might be lying? I'll keep trying to do voices, but I know my throat's kind of cracking up both today, so. You're in the tide in this trial, really. I'm sure this man has a compelling reason to lie in his testimony. Do I have that evidence to compel? Well, I must attain all sorts of secrets of lung injury. I think got to look inside, I think so. That was the you know, lung injury's personal, is it? Or from a great technic friend, perhaps? Actually, I wonder... I figure out if I'm show the name inside. It'd be funny if you actually did. So let's see what we find. Yeah, see, I want to open it and I want to make sure that's probably in here about him. It's uh, a full of gentlemen's names, isn't it? Those are probably not all gentlemen at all, are they? They're all not everyone in this country is well off. My goodness. Look at this, you see the name here? Bruce Fairplay? It means something to me. I was reading from Melody. Bruce Fairplay, the witness has to find the very moment. Oh, yeah, it is. The banker has his name in here. Oh, he borrowed 20 Guinness. The payment date's fast approaching for that 20 Guinness. Possibly awesome, just coincidence, of course, but this could be very useful information. Yes, it is, actually. Details. The Bruce. 
didn't even check that last time when I should have. Now that I have, now I actually got evidence. Oh, yeah, that's not. Hold on. Yeah, skeleton. The defense is ready to present evidence. By Joe, are you sure? Yes, evidence that will clearly demonstrate why Mr. McClay had reason to lie in his testimony. Yeah. Very well. I hereby call on defense to present evidence. Evidence that demonstrates a motive for the witness alleged deception of the court is blood. Take that! Uh, uh, excuse me, guys. The list of the debtors who owe money to Mr. McGillan. Yes. List of innocent victims crippled by the accused extortion. The point is, among the names of these debtors is your name, Mr. Bruce Fairplay. What? Mr. Fairplay, are you currently indebted financially to the accused? No, well, it's it's barely worth being called a debt. According to this ledger, you owe money. Yes, not a normal sum of money. We say. Guilty were to be found guilty of murder. What would become your debt in that case? Uh, hmm, these documents say that the loan agreement is formed between two individual parties. Therefore, we recorded our defendant together to be sentenced to capital punishment. Outstanding debts which were owed to him would be annulled, it would cease to exist. It ceased to exist. Mr. Fairplay, not the case that you claim in your testimony to have spent in something you never in fact saw. And a devious attempt to annul your debt of 20 guineas to the defendant. Haha! <laughs> yup. He wants to lie so he doesn't have to pay back money to borrow. What uh first fair play? <laughs> yes, my lord. <laughs> oh Jesus, it's gonna be funny. Uh, let me ask you again. And be aware that your answer may have most serious implications upon future. <gasps> most certainly have implications. Oh. Did you or did you not? The precise moment of time which the defendant is alleged to have thrust a knife into the victim? Oh my god, my god. Oh, well. Yes. oh, well, there we go. Your silence speak volumes. Hey, you did not tell the truth in your testimony. Alright, now let's not make a mellow melodrama out of this. Except for you, that's what you're basically trying to do in a sense. Like, let's not lie. <laughs> like, let's go. Oop, I did something. Like this. Gotta fix one minor thing here. Something happened with my. Fixed it. I don't know what I did, but I did something. Of course, I did ever say the truth of Hedge. Hedge. But it makes no difference. 
I don't remember seeing blood on the gilded hands, both of them. Objection! Yeah, only one of the fence gloves, which we here we have here is evidence of state. So you keep saying. I wonder if I might be allowed to speak, sir. Wait, it was first. Well, the thing is, I think I remember seeing it myself. In what? The blood, sir, on the assailant's hands. I think yes. I'm almost sure that it was on both of his hands, not just one. So then that comes into question. What? Yeah, like. It would appear that we are going to need further testimony from all of you witnesses. This time I would like to know precisely what you did and what you did not see. Oh boy. Now we are so perfectly clear. Yours. <laughs> this is Naruto. This is good news. Of course, trial seems to have shifted slightly at last. Yep. I finally have a chance to turn things around here. I'm really curious if the culprit is, man. I'm really curious. A lot of both these sandals. Seriously, just hit me. Although he's wearing gloves that look similar. It, oh my god, if it's actually the driver, that's gonna be fucked up. However, uh, I suppose you might say that I didn't see exactly what stabbing transpired in the matters. First seen the knife, and then I remember seeing both the attacker's hands blown. I didn't actually see anything myself, no, not until I heard the scream. The fact remains that it can't have anyone else inside that carriage, or we would all, we all would have seen. Lo and behold. In fact, not one of you was witness to the crucial moment of the crime was perpetrated. Pardon me, Lord, but honestly. No one else inside that carriage, and the man's hands were covered in blood. There was much incriminating evidence tantamount to saying we saw the man do it. That's really not what testimony is about. Let's we'll examine the interior of the omnibus once more. And fresh blood is clearly visible on the seat, corroborating the witness's accounts. In other words, there's no substantial nor significant change in the fact of the case. Hmm. Very well, your cross examination, please, counsel. Yes, my lord. Now I gotta figure out where the where the problem lies here. One both hands. They they're remembering that blood's on both hands. I remember seeing a knife, and I remember seeing both the attacker's hands of blood. Anything myself going on until I heard the scream. It remains a can of it anyone else said that carriage would all would have seen. you saw the incident was through the sky lab of the I was first pulled that night and the blast was busted open. I remember I was shivering and it was so bitter. Which rather begs the question of why the pair of you were sent on the roof deck in the first place. I don't know about this young fellow, but I couldn't enter the cap. Locked from the inside, I tried knocking, but no one opened the door. It was locked. Can it be locked? I need the bus service for these things. What I call fair play. Exactly the same experience, so it was apparently locked. When 
off from the jet inside just to clear off. But no choice to get up to the roof deck and down one way to the roof deck. I can assure you, it wasn't just looking down, it was glaring long and hard. That's the first time why I can tell you it's absolutely confident. Anyone else at all at that cabin would notice? At all, I would say. Could they really have seen everything inside the cabin through the skylight? Apparently it can be locked for me. It's, even though there's no blue block. The skylight. Maybe you can that can first be in order to catch up any description. Because it can't be open from the inside of the cabin at least. So, we have a latch system there. But can I choose it, or is it not gonna let me? Because I want to see where this goes from one thing, just a fair play. You're riding on the army, on this army. And we have the events in the cabin to the skylight and the floor of the upper deck, right? Oh no! Uh, that's right, yes. In that case, there is a portion of the cabin interior that would have been out of sight. Really? Obviously, at this stage, you can't say for sure. The possibility cannot be denied. At the time of the incident, there could have been another pasture in the enclosed cabin of the Alamance. Objection! A puppet of Mandarin, my Japanese friend. The prosecution demands that you sustain substantiate your claim. After all, the scene of the crime is here in the flesh. Well, the prosecutor's demands. You will identify the area on this cross sectional plane of the Omnibus. Where exactly in the Omnibus are you suggesting that the potential extra pasture could have been situated? Uh, over here? Take that! Hold towards the seat on the roof, face the direction of the travel. This direction of the travel. First seat in the enclosed cabin. Face each other. Means the invisible part of the cabin, which passes are on the roof deck into the skylight, is as I've drawn here. As right, my lord, as you can see, feet opposite the one of which the victim in his attack was sitting is obscured from view. In other words, if someone had been sitting on that seat. Would have been fully aware, unaware of it. Objection! I 
possible some phantom was sitting there? Given he's a bit habit of obscuring the truth and digging. The world brush is really good here. And rare score law evidence is paramount. I cannot entertain this conjecture, Council. That is, unless you're able to put a name to this mysterious past for doing food. Can I? That's kind of the question I have to can. I also don't know who could have put it have been. Could have been the other sea which was out of sight from this. Titus McGill did. Iron Bones Inc. is only 32, dang. Fresh Fired Mason is the victim. Some of the folks who have Bruce Fairplay. You have Lady, Lady First. guys up there. There's also him, him in there. He was a driver. Hmm. I don't think I actually have the evidence to support anything, sadly. Japanese Empire. What, what do you guys say, Susan? Is that a look into the sky and walk on and make sure all signs are gone? Go on. It's just a face of going on. Okay, what is, what's with that determined face? Look, what? Alright then, I'll go on. Vince would like to put forward a name. I actually have to, but I don't actually entirely understand who it is. Man who has no notion of his own limitations. Toast to hard lessons, not yet. The Valley Council of Defense is still named Pastor in receipt. Maybe it's a chance of what from the favor. That night on the night of murder. I find the scene on the bus camera was scared for you was. Oh god, it has to be one of these people. But who? No one's 16. I doubt it's male. I doubt it's my name. Obviously, it won't be the prosecutor. He's... He's got to be one of the three witnesses. He is apparently driving it. These two are the only ones on top. There is a hatch. I have no clue, man. Okay. Really 
Just mean that there was someone else inside the army bus. Killed it the truck. That's figured. But exactly what had been. The victim is a real culprit. The game is that we've all been making a false assumption. Not at all. Oh, wait. I actually, like, you have to think, you have to flip your thinking. So, Mr. McGilda was the one you couldn't see. Was Magnus. Take that! Fast during the closed cabin that the witness on the roof deck failed to see. Has to have been Mr. Magnus McGillan. Yep. You had, to think, you had to flip your thinking a little bit there. The person that they couldn't see was Mr. Magnus McGillan. Although, I guess it makes sense if you see from that one. Image. He said it was stout, but didn't he didn't look too small? We're talking about Celtic. Stay to the ten. Objection. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? I just got this chamber of my hollow challenge. Do forget the discourtesy. Wednesdays. We'll talk of the, of the satellite nations and parties as having a learning of culture, a learning and culture of Earth. I see they use the terms ill advisedly. What are you trying to say? Let me explain in terms of even a student of artless backwater. You yourself might understand. Oh boy. So how are we going to do this? Oh my god, my nose. Bloody stand on pole is effective to say over 77. Five. Although the witnesses have attested this fact, it is the very premise on which this case is. Objection! But that premise may be wrong. The victim really was sitting beside Mr. McGill, did? It creates an existence that can't be reconciled in any way. But it consists of counsel. I gloves, my lord. Both witnesses made the same testimony. They claim that there was blood on both hands of the person sitting next to the victim. Objection! And we know the truth be otherwise, one, only one glove bears the or remains. Objection! Point is, even in the face of this irrefutable evidence, both witnesses have maintained their stance. Yes, their testimony remains unchanged. Exactly. They both admittedly swear. They clearly remember seeing blood on both hands of the assailant. In short, their memory of events is correct, and their testimony reveals the truth. There was somebody else sitting beside the victim that night, a third party we have yet to identify. And the victim's glove was on that hands, both of them. Objection! Who was this third party? Obviously, the two culprits. Throw it in there. Oh, I exactly lost your Objection! Jesus Christ, you're gonna object to everything. Events. Constellation is just that, nothing more than conjecture. No witness have clearly stated that they saw the. Objection! Uh, oh. Oh god, I don't know. Ooh, I had some good dinner. Want to elaborate on his testimony? Fair play said that two of them were wearing hats and I couldn't exactly make out their faces. Yes. Perhaps their heads were here by the room. I could see the rest of them though. Yes, that's right, Blue Jim's from certainly headed. There's the attendant. Thanks, sir. Particular style of hat to do in sport, Mr. First. 
I'm afraid I don't remember. Well, I just never had her. No, that makes no difference. There was no third passenger in the cabin. How can you be sure? Because if there had been, the accusers from the kill that we had have offered. Close the fire. Well, unless that is your question of the whole the accused failed to even notice the presence of the pure culprit in the very cabin in which he traveled. And he's right, yeah. And if there wasn't the first cabin in the closed cabin on the bus, it's conceivable that Mr. McGillie would have been unaware of it. What up? There is clearly a simple solution to this problem. Bring the accused Mr. McGillie to the stand. Oh, what do you say, Council? Prosecution. Next. What grounds? I suspect he will have already made a full statement to the police. What if there's some reason why he's unable to speak for you? Really? Because McGill is no unintended ruffian. Indeed, it turns out the man has been withholding information. Be sure, it would be the most deliberate act. That's what depends, what is your opinion? My lord? Do you testify or not? Yeah, no. Yes, yeah, testimony. Yes, yeah, so we need to hear what he has to say in order to find out. Friends would like to call Mr. McGill to the stand. In that case, I would like to read the opinion of the jury. Yes, uh, I need a little time to consider this. That's what I think we should hear what Mr. McGill has to say. Uh, get the man here, I say! Get out of the lodge, we'll not to hear his testimony. All he needs doing to get it, he needs doing get it done, that's how I run things in the guild. What did he pick from my favorite little park has to say? Oh, yes, that would be lovely. Yes, jury says the man must be hurt. Well, the poor old here the defense says the money. He'll show the defendant to the stand at once. Yay! Not here. Do you stop yawning? Oh, God. Go on. It will actually happen. Bomb come clear. Do you stop yawning? I need my nose to stop being like all puffy. Weirdly stuffy. The proceedings to be resumed. Mr. McGilded, have you been since the course of the day? I actually forgot the voice I gave him. It was kind of a weird accent. Uh, I'm gonna try to remember if I can remember what it, this one. It's been a while. You sure I have, my lord. I honestly I think, but probably was a little more different because he has that his dialogue is interesting. Now two matters in which the court decides you're from you can't do it. Okay. The first is whether or not there was a third party with you in the cabin as proposed by the defense. The second is that if such a person was indeed present, why did you conceal that fact from the police? Yeah, no, it is not a nature to hide anything at all. Just answer the question, please. Who the matter is, I'm a desperate about this all along. I can tell you all. I'll keep my mouth shut. That's what Mr. McGillan. My fellow representing me is absolutely right. I'm in the night with myself and the man there was another passenger. Are you just trying to play like, face stuff so you know? Yeah. Room? I am supposed to be helpful or just need to wait after it all happened. You. What? So you basically help the guy leave escape? Oh, what? 
that to be excuse can't save me now. Good, sorry, so and more by Zeke's. I'm sure you'll be wanting to know why I said that with my Please? Maybe having a very good reason, I assure you. Please. Little child was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and the way involved, you see. Assume she done it, they'd have called her into her for me. Well, I'm only trying to spare her that. Don't hurt to know minds are easily damaged. Alright. Hmm. This young child can you speak? I don't know. I don't know who it well, Probably then you just have to be in the care of the right and never shall have or Objection! There was no reason to believe this man. I don't believe the statements to be disregarded by the court. I wouldn't be surprised. If the judge isn't here in this court as you speak, it seems that the proceedings. Oh god! Escapes good, Angelus. The call marks a recess. Yeah, I'm sure the pen is guessing you play the cover. Let me do a smoke bomb. I don't really remove from the smoke field of Portland, but barely. I the scene. It seems a chaos as people stumble over. One another in a desperate chamber. I had no idea what was happening. All we knew was. And for the time being, at least, the trial was suspended. Yes, it was, and it's to be continued. With your smoke bomb. Yes, I will say current progress. God, I love this game. Oh, part three. Let's go. You change. They leave chamber number. What just happened? How do I manage to find out what happened? This is bizarre. I saw those in advance one smoke grenade. Never explained. Only advice really smoke. Smoke grenade? Sounds like sort of thing his use. Making sure everything is safe now. Probably start again for long. Hmm. Oh god, yeah. Who would have done something like that? He's managed to get someone who was trying to put the courtroom apparently. In the courtroom? Why? Well, that's a young girl of around 15, I hear. Young girl? The, the other passenger that Mr. McGillow was talking about? That's exactly alright. No, become Mr. McGill is actually. There's so many things I need to ask him about. He's not here. I think it was some of the prosecutors in chamber to answer questions. Long with you. Just wondering what is she even doing here at the trial? Taking a huge risk of what possible benefit to herself. And another matter troubles me. Twenty tenths. Okay. Going to the coach, Mr. Peter. Give four bastards and a pair of five pence each. It comes to a total of twenty pence exactly. Now it seems there are five bastards. I mean, the figures don't seem to add up yet. Let's go to the courtroom. Trial begin in five minutes. Gonna go back in. 
Well, whoever she is, I imagine the young girl will be asked to take the stand testify, which I'm assuming is going to be the character I saw. I actually saw, uh, went to their site, and they have the, like, they have five characters to go off. One being the prosecutor, one, I think, being Susato. You have Rinosuke, you have, um, Kazuma. And they had a fifth one, which is a little girl. Talk about a little girl, so you don't really see this little girl that they're talking about until the third case, I I don't know soon enough, Mr. Susan. Oh god, I can't say words. Anyways. Sato. Okay, if I if if I do. I could be wrong. I just know that when I went to like the actual site, there was a fifth kit. Oh no, that's not who it is. Can't tell by the looks of that person. Young girl next to Mr. Sato was. Must have been the one who caused the disturbance before. Now resume the trial of Mr. Magnus McKillen. Other one of Ed Zeke's. Gordon. Soldier discovers the cause of the smoke in the jail proceedings are. Soldier has been advanced from the smoke grenade. Those are typically employed by the army. Usually employed by the army. Wow. Okay, you know what the name? I were to take by a young girl to cloak her escape from the public out. But she was caught. You know, I'd ride the stand. Your name, girl? What was the smoke grenade which produced such a lot of here? This means a poor behavior. If I may, my lord. Cool. Then perhaps I'll be fun here. Unless she realized he was here in the first place and why she revolt like that. I'll tie up with the events of last night. Hmm. So, uh, Mr. McGill, give your testimony. He will explain to the court exactly how this young woman is involved in the case. Yep. Just what did happen last night? That's a better question, man. Like the defense, the defense lawyer needs that information or anything. Not for me or anything. <laughs> yeah, dude. Better. Anyways, young girl. Let's see. Not in question. I took the back seat and now wasn't promptly not at all. Roar a loud thud and we scream up you know, for the fair start. So it claps on the floor. Jeez. I don't think it feet across from me. I turn to find out where that scream had come from and bless my soul. What did I find? Found them there. For a little bit of ball, bring your wheeze up away. Somewhat baffled, I guess, but from what I gather on the night in question, the girl was indeed riding the omnibus. Is that correct? Exactly, the defense counsel said last and fifth passenger. Oh. Very well. The defense made across them in the witness. The counsel. Mm hmm. Rather no. I have no idea where to start. I only gotta press and get a herd of time. Oh I look I had three strikes still. Sometimes we need to do the two be continues to reset that. This this reset. Could be, well, no, it might not be the team, it might be from the case investigation team. One night in question, I took the backseat and the omnibus. 
often we stream. Hold it! A thud and a scream. I have an explanation. It's like the sound of someone falling to the ground. That's what it is. Do you think it was the sound of Mr. Mason falling to the floor having a bad? Well, now you remember I was asleep at the time. I would like to say, and when the sound woke me up with hand open my eyes, I was only seeing the carriage of the fellow on the floor. And seeing it. The same moment you did hear a scream. Uh, he's just above the other deck, I presume. Above me, no, my lord. I'm inside the cabin. I wasn't altogether thinking about the screen. I was too stumbled by the desperate sight of the format. Of the the portal. He said, I'm up the portal. Hold it! Got him up the victim, you mean? I did on the seat across from me. Uh, uh, that I can see the poor devil is already gone. You don't leave a dead man on the floor now, would you? Courtesy, so it is. I'm a little hard to believe. I don't know about Zeke's. Ow. Ara. Just realized I said Ara. Fucking goddamn Ara. Anyway. <laughs> now, why would that be? to find a man lying dead at your feet in a carriage and an old person would hail the cabin. Any upstanding member of London society, that is. Yeah. Okay. Well, now if you know what I mean. I'm going to push a line of business. Man is lending money at his broken rates of interest. Fortunately, my lord, not everyone is able to help out for them, and some would even see me dead. But I do try where at all possible to avoid getting myself in a single with trouble. <laughs> you just seem like you were going to leave a man there. Heaven's alive. No, I was only tending to for it, so I was. But I had a mind to find out why and where for first. Why is where for you are, there were some details I wanted to understand before anyone else got. We scream at her, for example. Why not you, your good self, do just this? Yes, the scream says you know, at the same time as the of the victim collapsed. I pulled her out from 
here. And center in the office so I can have Wii no matter there. You know what? Alright, just nice to dead gentleman there. Got the young girl next to a corpse there. As I'm sure I mentioned. My position. Gentlemen, position to find myself in danger. I need to find out who is searching what you see. Seen on the roof deck seats. Oh, yeah. Come on. There you are, I would say. Oh. Yep. So this is not a fact to you at all, Mr. Kajoba. Uh, what they believe to be yourself and the victim was a fact after all. Myself as stunned as everyone else in this testimony. I'm just saying it's a crime. Sounds about right. We certainly had precious little time to talk to Mr. McGill before the trial. We mustn't be dispirited, we must Try to learn all the facts. No, we were otherwise going into some big town like this. Ah, no, no, no. There's no way you would have thought they would. Or 
Free till the point there was no one else in the care except for someone the victim. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. There, as far as I can see, there is. Anyway. Oh, this is a weird thing. The wee scream I heard as I woke up. Came in front of you, it was too Pushing me to the backside. He said it was a cross, but actually had the under part. Yeah! Give me your backside. It's not to the seat on which I've been sitting. Down there was a wee cubby hole there for storage. Damn it. Uh, um, yes. Is that it? I found that spot. I did. I did find the cubby hole, right? Can you pass your phone? Check the, the inside. Oh shit, there's blood on the floor. I didn't realize there's blood on the floor until I just came out here now. So, on top of there being. Oh my god. Nothing in here, it's totally empty. Who doesn't see me? Can't find my finger. Uh, why is there blood on the floor now? What is it? Hold on. I felt like the last time there wasn't blood on the floor. I feel like it's also with some hot. Now, kind of the blood in here. Oh no, it's just, well, blood stain is so obvious. This is and yet, there's these made no mention of it. In the same little spring. Yeah, no, it's the fact that apparently. Wait. Four one eight Phoenix Rally. I think those are the same numbers. But like, for some reason, I don't remember the stuff. I feel like there was stuff in them. I am so confused. Again, because I'm really confused on where this is. The cash was on board. Ah, that was at the end of this. Thank you there. First patch. I want. That's what we mean by the backseat. Names are your eyes. Earlier, get off the point of which the poor woman who stabbed sitting. Uh, it's a couple where I feel most at ease. Of course, I'm just to skylight. And... Oh, okay, yeah, that, I just had to press them like the entire time. I just didn't press them. Vince Blake here in my mind, however, at least one conundrum remains. Who is the girl? Who is this one? Who is this woman? My name is Gino Lestrade. Gino Lestrade. Cancer earns a trust among large crowds, relieving their purses. Commonly called a pickpocket. Pickpocket. Damn 
Uh, this girl here, petty thief. Yeah, surprise. Uh, order! Oh my god! Oh my god! Order! Is this true, Mr. Is this grad? Strato, you will answer the question. Oh. How dare you, what's the meaning of this? You, uh, put a smoke bomb in this thing. Like, gift. Girl, she's gone. Open your eyes. Oh, she's on the other side. Yeah, okay. Oh, here. You literally just decided to move to the other side. Are you kidding me? Look, nice your cars on like just weapons like that on. What I need for what I do is these fingers. Special, alright, maybe on your eyes, but I get tired more. You don't count smoke guns in that weapon. Oh yeah. This, yeah. I, this uh, was in the bag I left the day, down where they keep the four-wheel drag. That's in it. I like to think that it's colorful smoke. Oh, wait, this thing in my direction again. And you're gonna... Oh. I think that you were riding the omnibus in the night in question. He is Irish! Oh my god, I was actually right! I of course, if this girl, Miss. You know, Lestrade is a valid and somebody can witness the case. According to the young lady, we will not hear your testimony, if you please. You tell the girl exactly what happened in the omnibus on the night in question. Okay, if I have to. Yes, you do. Miss. Miss Pink Girl. Anyways, what the girls say? They just went inside the carriage before they looked up the, looked up the horses just like always. But it was a right away waste of time. I got nothing to show from your trouble. So you can't see the flying thing in that hiding place? It's just a miracle. For a while, I heard this loud bang nearly jumped out of my skin again, and the screen just came out. That all found me. It did help me get a white line. 
as ill as you go. I don't understand why you realize such a great urgent go, Mr. Gilman. Well, just simplicity itself. See, she couldn't possibly kill the other passenger, I knew that for a fact. Was there a tub? It's hiding yourself, yep. I think a demonstration is called for. This is where I was sat, I think. Yeah, the cubby hole in which you've broken is underneath this seat, I presume. Here's a big large power somewhere in the background snatcher. Anyway, of course the wee last was stuck in the I parked myself on the for the duration. Hmm? You see, that's why I left the last bolt. I knew that if the police found her there, they didn't like to assume she'd kill me. I couldn't live with myself if I'm back in the room, but all the times I... All the time I knew she'd even though you must have realized you're actually going to go without innocence being called into question. Not all, my lord, not at all. I knew in my own heart that I was innocent. So I thought I was worth taking a in my own good name for the sake of the less fortunate last. Nah. This is a fine example. A man could not possibly be guilty of heinous crime like this. Wait, you you cheat change your mind. Hear myself or dying, you sir. Wait, you change Yes, he changed his mind! Let's go. It's five. With calm, calculated reasoning, one arrives clearly at the truth every time. And she changes. Everybody changes the innocent. Boom! It's alive. All six members of the jury consensually consensual on their learning to a verdict of not guilty. Naruto, this must mean what? We're victorious. We won. Are you sure? Objection. Oh, uh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, no, he's getting serious. Putting his boot up on there. The side of my iron we heal Wellington offends. Pray do forgive the discourtesy. <laughs> I like how he like the action he does, and he's like, I'm forgive this discourtesy if it offends. <laughs> this really is an, an example of the one mental flaw in British judicial practice. For evidence and reasoning should be paramount. Emotions rule the day. The witness is last name and gives us clear insight into his true nature. Maybe his true nature. You really think Scotland Yard would have made such a very omission? After the incident, the omnibus was comprehensively searched. Officers of the police? Obviously, the interior was. Here you can be whole as we just put it was included in the investigation. The department under the posterior seat was full of coachman's belongings. It is noted in the black and white here in the police report. The board. Evidence has been tampered with. Hard to corroborate Mr. Gill. Sorry, someone had a lover move everything from under the seat. Devious heart. We must possibly benefit. Affected, the council. At this. I say words. Naturally, we must acknowledge the deficiencies, the vestibulary, and allowing this to happen. However, I was you when the omnibus filled in the room this morning. 
apartment under the sea was not empty. Oh, I have a new room. Me? My carriage is submitted as evidence. Tell us you examined it by detail as within his apartment. Yeah, I did, and I did notice the shit was gone and there was blood on it. Where would you find it? Is there a sheet of pharmacy? I'm sure the other woman will be able to clear her the stuff in the chest. Sorry. I can tell the court now, fella. That's all the why we're excused by the desperate Lord Van Zeke. Do you have something to say on this matter? How am I supposed to answer? What I say about the state of the old part of the seat and the other Uh, no, it wasn't fucking empty. I really don't know. It's not hurt. The cause is caused from the defense. But as far as I remember, at least. When I first examined the compartment, I'm fairly certain there was a number of articles inside of it, yes. It's your counsel. Oh, if you wish. What are you saying now, you duck dog? I thought you were on my side, yeah? Give me your point. Just defend the man in the stand. Why would you say something to compromise his position? As the advocate for defense in this trial, I confess I'm still not entirely sure where I stand. But it seems to me I should state what facts I do know as clearly and honestly as possible. Interesting. Yeah, that's the fella. I'm just gonna tell him the truth, Mr. McGilded. Oh, the must have representing my best interest here, bud. Then, those memories are a curious thing and not altogether reliable, no, but I must consider the facts. I don't think I could be holding it as empty as the devil's parts of it. Paper I have, it would be in your best interest to mention if you might have been mistaken. Fine, you like so. Jerry to weigh in on this matter, I think. Firm resigned to house equipment, used to maintain the smooth running of the carrot. The old rule state that I was properly pro properly and fully equipped at all times. But certainly wouldn't have been empty on the night in question, Evo that would be responsible. The money lending cleanser and the thick first were lying. And we go back to guilt. Duh. Got taken in. We're always stink here. Stinker has been nothing but coward. A lot of them. You're gonna go back. Oh. Trick, of course, is a trick. Yeah, you're going back to guilt. How many guilties are gonna go through the roof? You're gonna go back. Right, so must concur. Going back to guilty. Against the skill. In here. Oh, can't believe reasoning. I don't know if I've spoken the truth at the time. Every time a different truth, it's. Alright, I humbly. With the scales of justice. A verdict of not guilty this time would be wholly inappropriate. Counsel, before proceeding any further, there is the matter of the outstanding cross examination. You cross it. Counsel for the defense, begin your questioning of the witness, please. Yes, my lord. I just have. I think I also want to don't do voices because I want to try to get through this game a lot quicker than I have been. Honestly. Forgive me for not doing voices, but I kind of want to really get through this game. I mean, I'm trying to read out every line, don't get me wrong. Ugh. 
I just want to continue the game so bad. Anyways, old battles of the trial just shifted almost beyond recognition. Reaper of the Valley is at work, it would seem. Reaper of the Valley, the Bailey. Reaper of the Bailey, yeah. Girl cell. Talk inside the carriage before they looked up. Some poor stillways. I don't waste time and let them show them. Okay, it's a flying thing in that tiny place. Which, yeah. Oh, well, wow, I heard a loud bang. Well, that's the question. Hold it. Loud bang. When you say a loud bang, you mean the noise of someone falling to the floor? We've been, I suppose. I don't remember so well. When is it? Maybe jump. You let us scream and volunteer. Yes, when I felt the cushion over my head get lighter all of a sudden. Oh, the defendant got up in order to help the victim, yes? We have been the moment the accused stood in order to stop the victim. What's been happening at the cushion moment? Ah, okay. Pushing in here quick. Which are probably... I can't deny. I'm sure I'm sitting up... Whoa. But I've fallen on the floor and... I'm on the seat opposite. I'm going to build a count. Who the fella suddenly turns around and looks right at me. I'm going to down again, but it was too late by then. I think it's just kind of a person looking at me. Because of that, this one found me. Mr. McGillis discovered you. He pulled you out from the hiding place. <clears throat> the scared stipple was he dragged and sat down on the seat and all. Next to the victim, Mr. Mason? Yeah, the bloke had a knife in his guts. It was still bleeding. The carriage worked a bit and ended up falling on me. Something has got covered in blood, it made me feel sick as a dog. Hands covered in blood, most people have ripped on that. Oh yeah, that's what they said. After that, I believe you talked with the guilty man. He asked some stuff, wanted to know my name, and what I was up to, and all that. Okay. I heard something up in the gloves on the screen. Pretty fast on the deck on the moon. I didn't want to see the face of the person. The person was falling. The person was the person was Back under the sea, I'll see that you can get away with it. <laughs> the jury had decided to pin it with the reception. Trying to break shiny moment? Yes, we did! But they all still very unsure. We could just find some piece of evidence among this new testimony. Here we Punch the bird if you want, yes. Alright, I have this nigga McGillian. God, that is a weird word to say. It's a really weird word to say. Really weird, really weird. I, I want to like think of something else to say because it's just weird to me to say that. Something bothered me, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. Every time I see it, like my brain immediately reads it. Uh, it's nice out the carriage for the Already in common bus 40 and set guns. Yeah, I mean, what's the point of spinning it? Go ahead and make a few bobs, eh? We did. You mean means there's no point, in, no point spending money to make money in action with guns. I remind you that this girl is a pretty key, telling her to get your pet. Let's grab a little mystery of the bears. The pastures of the Captain's Peace had pointed to his cabin. Cabin testified. Almost. Gate raised right and free. Oh, I had the blue go to the crowd before the last one. That's when I said the carriage beat himself hidden in the feet, nice and easy. That was perfect. 
Put the coach, man. Pushing buckets and whatnot there. Now we just chop all that out and cram it in a corner somewhere. Never seems to bother much. I was fucked up at the police office with the red steam. The apartment was full of such paraphernalia. <coughs> mm. I don't know nothing about that. Like I said, I moved all that stuff out so I could find the street. That's what I tell you. The line of inquiry continue. Run a waste of time to have my show for trouble. Hold it! It's a time. Why is that? Well, most nights I'm on me only across from it at least some of the time. Take your pardon, you say gospel. Oh yeah, well, that's not what you can say. They the only lost the trouble. But as a normal run, the carriage ain't got no one in it for a while. Need to run your tiny place on the way. But only that night. But it was not on these things. Or, it reminded me of way, did he? I'm an inch, totally stuck. Can you tell us that you're present in the carriage for duration? I need to see the entire time that they doesn't hold it in the close count. Yeah, right, this one. To be sure, to be sure, I was shocked as anyone. Mm -hmm. I don't expect to lift the cushion you've been sat on. I don't expect to lift the cushion you've been sat on to end up about the end up on a child now, do you? I did not say that word. Really. Because the strategy could possibly get the cut, right? So you can't see the blind thing in the train. Place it. Hold it! I didn't see out the cabin. But... Most days I push the dead out. Right. Yeah, I can have a bush. Oh, I'm going to get Sorry, guys. Butcher's at home on a fiddle. There's a paper on it. I mean, I can have a look. Let's see how to get under it. Let's push the other. Okay. Well, it's time to pass and just plant themselves off. For some reason that night, this here tarsus spent the whole journey right over me. Without reading more, you can push it to show the galaxy. It is. I can have a look. Okay, this is feeling. Well, no. And you have something to say. Excuse me. I'm wrong, Mr. McGillan. Hmm, they do apologize. Was there something the matter, Council? Uh, I just wondering if Mr. Strad's last comment made something occur to you, perhaps. Oh, no, 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 it's nothing important. Coming back with more last fall. Feeling desperate for myself as a young lad, but the dark was terrifying as it was. I see, yes, I'm sure we can all sympathize. Ah, I just need to part now. Ah, and I don't know about you still. I find that darkness seems to make everything appear much more louder as well. Good. Here's something that might anything you know this perhaps. Not really. I hear it was the Irishman snoring. Yeah, there's no need to tell the whole world to me. What be you little scamp? I must have tried to hurt something. Put new clue. Yes. Make a last statement of hers. That's profoundly important. Pardon? 
believe the statement just made by the witness is profoundly important. Profoundly important? All she said... She heard nothing. Yes, which is a profoundly important point. I'm all sure of it. I'm all sure that I don't understand the inner workings of your eastern mind, Council. Nevertheless... Yeah, just give me a spread. You want something that your phone customers are being the last thing, please? Something that you don't want about. Tell your fancy talk, I won't. What you're trying to do, well, will work on me. Alright, insult judge. Always a good move. Bring me ears to work out with this one, but all I can hear was snow. I don't know if I need to press that again or not. They're all strange to hear what is happening the entire time since the moment you hit it. Not exactly, no. Sorry. By the way, there was no need for no one in the cabin to start with. Push the mission on the house. Just to see what was what. Then when I saw this fellow getting on, I got my head down so I didn't trust me. The girl sat in the sea under which you were hiding. Yes. You yeah, haven't even a eh, one mug. But all I could do was this. Plane to jump out there as soon as I heard leave. Okay. Would not likely. I was stopped here and there. I never heard the door open. I had to stay put and listen to him driving. Fixed to work or something like that. Oh, okay. Any conclusions we can draw from Doesn't happen, nope. Yeah, well, you've just told the court. Look at the odds of the facts. Are you sure, man? Absolutely. And then they're not gonna believe me. I have to figure out what the fuck I put this up. Uh, it seems my seems my learned Nipponese friend is not as bubbly as I feared. He's realized. Oh, wait, did I actually get it right? I have to figure out what it is. Council! What is this that you bolster your claim with evidence? Or some complicit party is named, at the very least? Would you demonstrate this alleged contradiction to the court? Very much the sprout. While the ship's hanging on the ground, heard nothing but the sound of the boat snoring. I, I think. Something else you should have heard. Evidence or person?
Ah, okay. First thing. No, I guess this one. I'm very curious about the first one. Person. Take that! Surprise, Mason? Yeah. Because you would check a person if he came in, the door would have opened. Open the door. And this one. Let's sound that Miss Mr. I cannot have failed to hear. The victim is Mason and Gordon Young. Yeah, that makes me sure. Whatever. Find your reasoning, counsel. Just this is Allow me to confirm something. You claimed earlier that you were the first person on the bus. Is that correct? Yeah, of course. Um, while well, the driver was in the pub, you know? The original red bus was Mr. McGilvin. What an asshole was in the cabin when I found the board. At least not in plain sight. So, you were a tall purpose along with the bus cabin on the bus at the time. Now that you say as much, I wasn't from anyone else, if that's what you mean. Yeah, that's all I'm getting on the Do they crack under the seat cushion? Um, I'm not sure. Only heard the carriage made a number of stops at the time. Points on the journey. During which time did you not hear the opening or closing at all? Oh, I never heard it. Exactly what I was listening to. Right, waiting for this swell to leave. In which case, when and how did the victim end up in the carriage? Oh. You know that the victim collapsed beside the enclosed cabin and omnibus. The guy died above the Fucking skylight. Sorry, Christ wasn't inside the fucking omnibus to begin with. Mr. McGill went in and he locked the cabin door. Nobody could enter the cabin door. He was the only one in there. I think everybody was going there. Huh. One of the guys that was there stabbed him. Somebody on top staff to do injury. Let him drop. To the sky. There's a flash. We know that the victim collapsed on the post on the bus, therefore, explain the blood. Awesome. This is Strat's statement about what she did or did not hear is awesome fact. Yes, the pretty fast statement was clearly flawed. Six. He knew. He knew all too well that there was a game of the right statement. It would seem the words, thanks are heard for my learned friend. What are you talking about? Administrative matters impeccably. This witness and her powerful statement. Entirely unreliable, her words are to be untruths, nothing more. What if, what if they are truths? Right. That's the knowledge of the young ones. It's whatever in the girl's picture. You're gonna go fucking guilty already. Fuck you. No, no. Didn't even say anything and went guilty. Judge the dear little mice because she has a proper in ways, but I must say. If I liars. You can I, you get you yeah, nope. We're gonna go full fucking black tape. Because she has the most dangerous ways, I must say. I my liars. And boop! I'm leaning towards guilty. Yes, we know. Thank you. Tell well, your consideration, brothers. Refreshing my Nipponese friend. Due to the considerable troubles you have spared me. Yeah, it's very refreshing. <laughs> This is carnage perfect. You! Yes, that's the only one that actually is left. 
I'm hanging off the by a thread. Can I buy this? No, I can't find some video things. I want to go to Nitsons. But who I am on? I much want to believe the words of the But you're going to go guilty. Those of us in service know we must sip our truths, and you're going to go fucking guilty again. You know? Hold it! Oh shit. Just fucking call it. Yeah, so Witness's last name seems to have revealed the critical story. Emperor. We consider the possibility that her statement is, in fact, the truth. We may shed an entirely new light on the whole case. What you see? Oh. I'm sorry, sir, whatever you do mean. Counsel, I will not tolerate you attempting to prolong my education. Explain yourself at once. Blame the accused, boarded the omnibus in the night. The victim was no word to scheme. Ultimately, the door was not Fine, I see. Okay. The victim's body was found inside the terror. Okay, this is pretty key towards the people who leave. How do you explain the victim's rats? Thud was the body falling in. Carriage. One way to explain how this victim came to be inside the carriage. There's a door. The door wasn't open even once. My explanation was that the victim should be in close cap as another Objection! Way. in your blue eye and panic? Hold out of us here for all the same. On one side of the enclosed cabin is furnished with a door, the other has windows, fixed windows, which cannot possibly open. In short, there's no entrance in the cabin. Protection! Bullshit, Skyler. But it could be. One possibility you haven't considered. It's weird. Yes, one of the way inside it isn't the door. Is that opening? Which use of which allowed the victim to appear inside the enclosed cabin? Alright, counsel. Defense will identify the location of the court of where this incident occurred. Right the entrance of the enclosed cabin, right on the skylight, right there. Take that! Answer is obvious. I will be in the skylight. I say the skylight. Objection! You can keep checking all you want. Your looting proposal almost has me lost for words. Skylight Objection! Here. The skylight may well be large enough for someone to pass. Them. Objection! Same. You have to evidence to support your eight the brain theory. Mr. McGill and Mr. Strad had the same in their testimony. Each claimed to have heard a loud thud to the noise made by someone falling down the floor. This was already been The victim falling from the seat. Dagger. Yeah, it's but I mean, slipping from the seat on the floor really made a fucking noise. But noise is loud enough to be fucking cracking around in the vault or. Gracious. Perhaps in fact, that was the moment that the victim made his entrance into the cabin. Well, I'm afraid. The victim didn't enter the cabin. Oh. He fell into it. Objection! I already saw what the latch was. That's how he, he somebody fell him on top, or somebody got him to the pushed him on the bottom and he like fell into it. So he turned it on. You're not suggesting that the victim fell from the sky right into the cabin. That's simply impossible. Because I'm sure. Because the victim had fallen inside the display, as you say, passing around the roof deck would have seen it happen. And yet, not one person made an entry. No testimony. And he has the proof of it. Make a wee comment here.
Mr. McGillman? Be sure now, the two fellows who were sat on the justified floor, nothing in the victim falling through the sky. But it seems to me, my lord, that it's not so much a case of them not saying, but... A case of them being unable to say. I think perhaps the two fellas we have no reason not to mention what happened. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps on the roof. Oh god, Jesus fuck died faster. That's oh Jesus Christ. I mean the ones who suck the knife and the man were uh, the upper people? Hmm. What exactly are you insinuating here? Further? Oh my god! Father, he said you brought her. What are you insinuating? Alright. For the flaming outrage, the mind give you longer a minute. Maybe a shiner in the you said, and so will I. God, I those old words. Old, old words. The fair play? You're effectively accusing me of city gentleman and well respected banker. And I'm a very, very angry guy. I think that someone like me to have a man in the guts? It's scandalous. Disgrace. It's scandalous. And I protest the real stars for possible turn. I protest too about you, you Scott. Just look at that. Love it. Is. Oh my. What up? Not the time, but this is. I will permit this one on evasion of the stand and return to the answer room at once. This is beyond reason, my lord. It's very hurtful. My lord, if I may call it. Hey, Lord Van Zeke. It was a fan that incited this outburst and the witnesses that my learned friend has seen fit to evade all protocol and accuse of proof. Who's I never intended to? It seems, young Nicolaes, that your command of the tongue is fine. You proposed to the victim fell through the skylight from the roof deck of the Omni. I bought this cannot possibly stand without the rooftop. Pastors being aware of the events. The brain of the general liars and eliminated their criminal people. The first court law that is what's termed a basis of activation. That's right, I can't get four thousand. I can't just dismiss it. I have to get them to testify. There was something to about that. Now, from the moment I laid eyes on the fellow, I see this matter through now, one way or another. There's filled in rubbish on our mist. We must dispose of it at once. Testify! 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 Oh, shit! Testify! Oh, shit! Let's go! What's happening, Mr. Monroe? I can in the public gathering. They're in complete frenzy. Mr. Probably, Mr. Burst. My lord, oh my god, they're just like the sudden bullets and just looking back and forth like what the fuck. We will take the stand again and make another form. Reference to the incitement brought by the oh, Yes, my lord. Didn't come here for this. Ah uh, well that's your problem. True. All I can do is push it forward. Push forward. Including the accusation. The only two people over here, dead or alive, I can swear to that. If they have where we were sitting, and don't you think well, some of the other of us would have noticed? In each case, neither of us would the first thing about the victim. A reason to kill the man. Sadly, we shut the entire time. We couldn't possibly work. Mm-hmm. 
Listening to this testimony is somewhat hard to imagine. Neither witnesses could have performed any well act on the top deck. But the other noticing for That's right, you see? That's what I tell you. The logical reports are gonna fall down. Two of you were including a while ago. Investigation has gone. Two witnesses share no comment. I don't trust comment more than I trust it. It doesn't feel right. Now that it's going on in our favor, really. I feel so uneasy. This is for the defense, over to you. Your cross animation, please. Yes, Miller. Accusation. Plenty of people up on the roof deck. Yeah, oh shit. Hold I it! dropped my controller and I just okay I pressed whatever. Yeah, I dropped my controller told me to press, so we're just gonna continue on. No point victim Mr. Mason Clap to join the roof deck. Hot is pushed by his said not at all. Oh yes, of course, I remember seeing the boat. Looking inside the close cap talk with a man. Gillen? Or the only bus alone and not at all inside the house. I'm also new. I doubt you. You stop you there, Bill. I ask, do you have any evidence of that? Paul? What about all my evidence for these days? It is? You've you all well learned that. I saw you with my own eyes. This is going so well. This thing happened where we were sitting and going. Hold it! Well, it was on the phone. We're now on the Past 10 in the deep. Good. Clearly, we're quite dark, but. You already see clearly? Hello, Lord. Joke he said, is that, is that what this is? Or perhaps one of the others fell asleep briefly. Hey, Barry Duggan, sir. Curious what he said. Oh my god, you're just explaining what he's saying. The English. What he's doing, like, like old English pieces. Get the keys to the bullet and fall asleep on it. And that could hold. Good man, you, your eyelids are pretty shut and you never open them again. I was trying to tell you, and I had to go with it because his man locked the door. He didn't want to lock it, and he didn't want to know. I'm perfectly sorry about that, huh? Hey, I was away with the fairies, and I didn't hear you at all. I saw you through the glass, you're talking to somebody. I don't know, it was a cold night, so it was. We've seen things aren't real and cold. I'm about that. That light was shut the entire time. I'll have to do it in a minute. It's crazy. Uh, take a look for yourself. Go on. The lab. It's shut fast then. My light. This, of course. Let's add Mr. Mason if you'd like me to break it through. It's gone. 
can't emphasize it. Can you understand? Hey, hold on a minute. So it's not a the thing is not on its own. Let's clear the bigger picture for me. Kind of change. Um, I'm the omnibus and I'm under a pig. Then, um, I broke wind loudly. That's not what that doesn't happen. Mr. Burst? I was just meant to say, well, the point is, I tried to open the skylight, you see. Just my luck, I couldn't make it budge. It was terrible. I think it dies on me, sir. I bet there's a throw guy who did. I can eat a seven here. Yes, sir, the oh. Well, they can't be open. I tried and... Wait, that ain't... The, the skylight can't be open. I tried and tried when I was... Inside that cabin of shame. You were apparently inside. You're just... Fucking... Excuse me! I have something to say about that. God. Okay, like, that's what we're talking about, right? All them skylights open, dead easy. Honestly, then you can love that weapon. Okay, otherwise I would probably win I can't do it from the inside. Look, a few weeks ago, I was up on the roof deck and I had a green hole. I mean, I got me years. That was not a problem with those moments of your criminal activities. Anyways, I had a bit of a scare. I lived in the hospital at first, he got wise to me. The phone surrounded me, so I couldn't bust and play. Well, I did. I used a skylight, opened the hat, catch and jump right through. Captain the skylights on the top side. That's why you can't open to me. Look at that. I love when you rip that. What? I'm going to rip the one that goes and wants to verify the witness claims. I mean, I saw it before, but you know, apparently that. Oh, look, it opens. That slides too. Not like a. It's in the hat. Ah, huh? it appears the street girl's name is quite true. Deep, I light up. What a whiff! Am I wrong? Keep the clue in the book. Yes, it is. Especially since he basically revealed that he was inside the cabin. No cause for the defense. Please continue to cross. Skylight opens. Perhaps I should get past help. I know I need to invest. The skylight was fast as shit. Now the catch is done and done. It's on the 
in the edge of the window sill so because the flash is right here. That I think is what Hmm, well, I think I just got my proof. Objection! That's what I'm How did I need to play? The victim was fatally stabbed in the stomach. And immediately afterwards, the victim's body was pushed through the stairway into the below. Those are the facts. Irrefutable proof. Frank played the visible amount of us that stands before us today in this very courtroom. That's utter. I can't possibly have any evidence. No, you can't. I mean, you can do it, I tell you, it's impossible. You have proof here in this courtroom. Lord, I believe everyone will appreciate a little clarification here. Hmm. Where exactly with the non-device is the evidence? Which you allude? Wait, is it gonna go inside? We'll point out what is the proof that can fell from the other deck. Okay. Because this open very wide. Oh wait, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I don't care. I already do it through this. I meant to hit the triangle, not the X button. Triangle, yes. Got it! Okay. Jupiter and Luke. That's blood. Blood's name proves two things. Firstly, when the incident occurred, the sky lighted the oh, it's open. What? Secondly, the victim was already bleeding when he fell through the opening. And so it follows that Mr. McGill, who was inside the enclosed cabin himself at the time, not possibly be guilty of this crime. <laughs> yeah, Paul and you black. Somebody up top. Huh? Hold it! Hold it! But the blood but the blood could have sprayed up there when the fellow was dead. Heaven no, it couldn't do. Like on its way to that one particular spot in the skylight, sure. And that would be very convenient. Let's keep in mind the skylight catches only them fastened from the roof deck. I'm so going to be able to open it now, would I? There was no way to know for certain, is there? The gym really fell through the skylight, I mean. We're looking for four of the cabin between the two seats, Mr. First. There's blood everywhere. Everywhere. Multi plane, you can see. There's the aftermath that shows a poor fellow drop from the far height. There, so it is. Can't be. Can't be uh, Hold it! Is. But you remember? I think we can all agree. This is clear proof of the defendant's innocence, can't we? I believe we can, yes sir. Show me now where the filthy rubbish can be found in this courtroom. Oh, they thought they could pull the wool over my eyes, did they? Oh my gosh, you just died so fucking fast. It's fucking hilarious. I won't tolerate it. This guild's carriage being solely with blood. I won't tolerate it. I always knew that nice gentleman who gave us that delightful part couldn't have done such a thing. On three then, everyone. One, two... Three. Innocent... Objection! Oh. Killing performance, Mr. Golden. I wonder what would you be referring to there now, Mr. Van Zeeks. What's on the frame of the skylight? Evidence? They'll avoid. Why? One extra reason. Your blood never existed. Objection! What's you talking about? Problems here, and it's very cool. Objection! Personally, I've taken Scott Nero's investigation in common with us. Captain's involved with all the characters. Oh. 
I can say without absolute certainty. No such mirror blood existed here. At least not until this trial began. The Norbin thinks that this stain of blood was. Yes, and while this court is in a session. Jesus! Fabricated. The palaver. I must say, goodness, Mr. Reason, if you're the prosecutor of your standing, you're standing more than a piece. And by Miss McGill, the fellow known all of that before his fine house. I think it's kind of like a slander, and I'll fight it. It's the bitter end. And then it's rolling off the tongue of the Reaper of the Bailey. Mr. McGilded, I realize that this is the first appearance of the court as the accused. However, I'm going to let you involved behind the scenes in a great many affairs of dubious natures. Be very deaf when it comes to avoiding getting your own hands dirty. Each time it happens, uh, it's a case you're involved in. Investigate you with death. You know the portions I just be dealing however ill gotten it may be. Nothing is impossible. I can't believe this man's going to see the crime private. This is just your ability to conduct the most convenient of stories, sir. A couple of antiques. This will not do, to be sure. Oh no, counsel. No. It's very sad to stop this out of the park and produce by a desperate hand. From the sky, like this, you say. This is all cash for my back. I feel that Alan has there been in the corner this entire time. You know, Hase put a smear of blood on him without the world and his wife seen. And right now. Oh, this car time was working. I learned from. Here's your hearing your opinion. Sir, in your words. As you wish. Is this only temporary? Oh, okay. Dang. Yeah, no, it. I mean, it can. Like, I can't deny it. I jump back to the defense if I can. Tells us there's something more important to stake here. There is no evidence to suggest that the defendant did as I learned for instance. For instance, yes. I have terms of having the opportunity to carry out the alleged tampering. There's one opportunity. Hmm? Just first, explain yourself, counsel. There is. You might learn that the screen has no attention to running from it. I'm sure everyone saw the clearly. I really says that they're supposed to fake. There's all the smoke grenade fire by the way this fan. You know what's going on? Everybody got smoked out. Oh my goodness, let's go and work some recess. <laughs> the whole room was filled with smoke, and everyone was done with the beauty. All the smoke gave this chamber. Brief interval under the veil of smoke, and then all of the chaos would have been possible to seal inside. Eyes? You trying to pull ye rotten like the screw? Look out. You're supposed to be defending me. Look at the plot. There's a plot to undermine me. So OBJECTION! Who do you think this is? Changes in the 
bags are the same. After this courtroom was activated earlier as a result of the smoke grenade, the inconsistencies materialize in relation to the omnibus. These such as to start with the storage department underneath the rear passenger seat. Who knows to get the omnibus? The department's full of driver's items and now it's gone. Secondly, we have this mirror of blood on the edge of the skylight. That was not the the I want to able to corroborate your claims. It was the first wheel to the first part Nobody decided to check it unless you Well, the skylight now is going to check it. I'm afraid to say we can also have to a certain key. That means this is all tampering or not. Hey, my lord, no doubt there was not a single person who solved it. Fair play. Sorry? The Omnibus. Pretty else unusual about the Omnibus? Further assistance. I'm sure they cannot be present at the start of the trial. What? That was never you going to say now. Here to betray me, the little maggot, I better Objection. start watching your back, whatever. Wow, it's gilded. Before it waits, defense clarification. <clears throat> I'm swinging one way and then the other. I have no idea what's the truth and what's the substance. That's what you believe. As you feel, I'm right, Council. I don't know if this plan appears at some point during the trial. Um, personally, I remember the one blood stain. Okay. Remember this. This blood stain, I don't remember. Something wrong. I don't know, it's just, well, this blood stain is so obvious, that's all. And that Van Zeeks has made no mention of it. And that's where I'm like, he hasn't made mention of it. Bad feeling about it. Got it! That blood stain wasn't there before. Like, my memory actually served me correctly, it wasn't there when the first checked before the smoke. Where the victim fell from the sky on the floor. Apparently, had to find some blood where he landed. I don't really recall. Huh? Was in the cabin floor. Up there when the owner was, was brought into the courtroom. Floor. Yes, I do believe you are correct, Cal. But, although I was in that defense, one might say that was a very hair slip of the tongue. I believe that blood stain on the floor is a decisive piece of evidence. But if the question of whether the evidence is genuine or whether it was unlawfully fabricated by someone, I feel compelled to admit that there is at least a possibility that the evidence is fake. Does it actually, is Mr. McGill actually over? McGill, is he actually the murderer? I've done everything I possibly can to cooperate with him. It's all over now. But you're the defendant. It's over, I tell you. Memory recollection. If it's all, it's all a monster. Actually, what counts is the fact is that blood stain is there now. Well, the course of this desperate trial, long and extremely drawn out as it been, the defendant and Reaper of the Bailey has failed to present any decisive evidence. Analyze it. And a lot better of Lord Van Zeeks. Well, my lord. 
I must control it. I mean, I don't have a recollection of individuals who cannot stand it. I'm particularly with bloodstain in question, very much in existence, and in the absence of any credible method by which to prove its alleged previous non existence. I regret to say that it would be improper for this trial to continue. The Lordship can't be serious. Mr. Vanzies, what is your petition? position? The prosecution, Lord, has no further witness. Present. Well, that case is that the you must allow me in this matter. I shall proceed to my education. Now that I am just obliged to perform a bit first. I stand at the moment, it would seem Mr. McGill would be found not guilty. Which would mean what? Is it a right outcome here? Is it really alright for the trial to come to an end now with all these unexplained instances? That's for the defense, your closing statement, please. Yes, my lord, defense believes. He can be guilty still. I'm here in the forum today to advocate for the defense of my client, Mr. McGill. However, at this moment in time, I cannot at all be conscious of the best way to defend its innocence. You say, man. Without any question, there is no conclusive evidence to prove that the defendant is guilty. However, there is also no conclusive evidence to prove that he is innocent. Good, good gracious. Oh my god, it's 3 o'clock, guys. I have to go. Order! This is unprecedented behavior, counsel. The first of all, calling the accused innocence into question of sound of mind? You of sound. And here we go. This is crazy laugh. It was a grand decision to point you with my lawyer, so it was a grand decision. What? I must say, I didn't expect quite such an exciting spectacle at the end there, but still. I have this for your troubles. Ah. Here's done, fella. Some fine work you've done, so you have. To me. Right, honorable gentleman, so suddenly put it at four? No, I can't go on. Closing statement there was. Put it now. I'm more than one, buddy. He's laughing like a madman. Make of all this. Where have you seen Julian or what's a fake? Give me any hints that your brother should be disposed of promptly in this head. And you're sh or killed or something you did. I'm really ashamed that I ever doubted that lovely man who gave us the cup of coffee. My proceedings have unfolded in this way. I will declare a premature end of this trial. Furthermore, I must accept the defense plea. Hey, my lord. Hereby, pronounce the verdict of this court. Objection! Okay. We're still having determined if the blood stain in the honor of us genuine or not. You don't know if you did. You're telling the truth or a pack of lies. You have no idea about the truth. Zeke's. Lord. That's why the prosecution was flawed. Plain and simple. If indeed the honor was presented as evidence, it's tampered with. The prosecution is a fault for allowing such a charges of pushing up to assist the There's a call. Objection! Oh, wait. They were evacuated from the court when Lord Ramsey's ordered the evidence to be secured. I'm afraid the prosecution cannot challenge one. Yeah. So. The capability of the defendant is not. Time been established by the court. Currently, the room will not be required 
but we're good. So it has as for you, dear fellow. But never asked for a better defense. I'm gonna tell you this is all been a grand waste of time. On the land, my good man. If you'd like to pursue this matter further, you can always go ahead and try to change the world. Say to me, have you? Just one thing, a warning. Far from over. Well, something to be looking forward to then. So we, we, we just got, I, oh my god. So it's fireworks. Yeah, no, I actually, like, I feel like that was, oh. Examine the evidence. Oh my god. Still felt bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. The old Bailey. Been in the next chair. Yeah, it still feels bullshit, honestly. Oh, it was a long trial. And yes, it was. You. Your first ever trial, of course, so I only your first victory was a wonderful performance. Yeah, but it doesn't feel right. How about congratulations? Thank you, Ms. Susano. Susato. Thank you for your assistance. We should be happy. I suppose we should be happy. The trouble is, we're still clearly in the dark about what actually happened. Well, we didn't have enough time. But isn't it wrong? I mean, you're responsible for Mr. Mason's death. You know that. The defendant is to obtain a verdict that exonerates the defendant. Carried out your duty for perfection. I thought you did. Well, it seems the story is true. What story? Not the six enormous fireworks. Would you be letting off when there's a verdict of not guilty? Why are you breaking the fourth wall? I'm sure he used to be spectacular, wouldn't you say? 
Yes, yeah, definitely. Wait, right, but it's not to behold. To be sure it was. So, like, apparently that's like just a thing. Thanks to me as down the door and so it's our fellow, aren't you? You say you have any the head there once or twice? Young and his strong, his water under the bridge. Saying that I do the odious and absurd deed is grand. Suppose it is. I my fellow scholars hard to make the matters of hand and sort out any weed detail. What it is, they'll keep the truth. Good faith in them, so I have to. Sir, if you'd like to follow me in the courtroom. Oh. It's a truth to sooner than I was led to believe. My convenience, sir, there were some changes to the schedule. Taking tracks, this time for the inspection. Or one inspection. I want to examine the eye of us again, so I'm old. Present for itself. We're going to examine it again. Actually, I'm under no obligation to take part in any more of this matter. I don't think I'm a member of one in society. I do be doing my best to help where I can. You know, it's duty, so it is. Well then, very well. It was an absolute pleasure. Do you have a well of time while you're standing here in Great Britain? Yeah. And there you go, a free man. And then she's gone. Oh, I forgot she was here. God damn it, don't fire your speed. Don't move. I want to say you get a move on. She really doesn't take forever to load that thing. Crap, would you mind putting that thing down? You're grown up. Sorry. Hey, all grown up. Oh, jeez. Oh, there you are. 
Oh, that's who I was talking about, the fifth naughty naughty running off like that. What the fuck is your music? Alright then. Is it got a picnic? Who is this little girl now? Ain't that with you as well. That was important. I'll run my experimental smoke grenade launcher. Bazooka. What the fuck? Um, excuse me, but who are you? This is who I think it is, right? Oh, good day to you. I'm uh, the inventor, I suppose, of the game. Uh, well, normally the smoke grenades are so dull, don't you agree? White, white, more white. I have to be shrouded in the smoke, it would at least be pretty colored, I thought to myself. Okay. Is there a colored smoke? Do we have to be shrouded in smoke, though, at all? I was up for a moment while I was changing a different omnibus and she pitched it. Pitched it. Oh. Play fitted with the telegraphic beacon. Oh, what's it? What? I have no idea what this girl is talking about. Anyway, you come with me now, back to my laboratory. What oh, before? Oh, of course, it leads to my condition. You mean, hey, sorry. This is sorry when you've done something wrong. Surely an adult has told you that before. Hmm. Listen to adult. No adult. Uh, come along then. Follow me. Have your way. Okay, so you know I want to do the right thing in the end. I'm not sure that what she wants to do is not get shot by the massive gun. That's fucking massive. Leave it now then. Bye bye. Yeah. Except for we don't figure out your name, and I'm pretty sure I know who you are. But I don't want to spoil it for anybody who watched. Start right with us. Well, do you think perhaps we ought to be on our way now too? <clears throat> Guess you're right, but me too. Oh. We haven't had time to fight this day. No sooner than we have arrived in London than we head to Russia. Our traveling gates are still with Baylor. Time to spend today is lodging. This late hour in the day, I'm afraid we may be out of luck. Don't worry though, I have a plan. Yeah, if the worst comes to worst, I've heard a lovely park where we can spend the night. Oh my god. Please tell me you're not thinking of Nick Gilby Park. It's be a little chilly down here, but. When else will see us through? Bullshit. I'm not so sure about that. I think a midwinter London night. It's crazy young person. Solid just as easily as an elderly, elderly one. Oh, that doesn't sound agreeable. Oh my god, you are crying. I'm sorry to regret. I'm just going to go it down. But, um, Dan is going to pay for a lovely warm room or mansion. And so, the trial determined my worthlessness, worthiness, for the study tour was over by the end of the first day in London. However, as we were soon to learn, there were trying times ahead. This is the Reaper of the Bailey, however. The case was far from over. Is that really the end of case three? Because, like, that was fucking... Whoa, that's weird. Cutscene before going to the next one? Get the fire brigade! What the fuck? Bring water, quick! What the? How did this happen? I don't know, sir. By the time I got here, it was already engulfed. No one was supposed to be allowed in here before we started investigating. <gasps> Somebody in there. No. Oh, good God. There's... There's someone in there. Oh. Oh. This, this can't be. Who in the hell? Did he just... 
Mr. McGill just got burned alive? What the fuck? Okay. So, what the fuck? That was like crazy to see that before we ended. Holy shit. All right, so now we're on episode four, I assume. Like, episode three is literally, yeah, the adventures of the clouded coat Toro. Awesome. Anyways, that was fun. That was crazy. That was exciting. Um, yeah, that's all I can, all I can say. That was fucking amazing. I'm like, what? Well, oh my God, I am astounded. Oh, and I love this game so much. All right. All right, guys. Uh, get, get the music going again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the stream here. Obviously. Surprisingly, I didn't have to use the restroom. Uh, usually I have to have like one bathroom break. Surprisingly, I didn't this time. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna end the stream. I'm gonna go raid somebody. I'm gonna go find out who to raid. Let's. Because it is like past the, my time limit by 20 minutes. Although, also, I'll be fine. But uh, let's see. Who seems to be pretty chill? Pretty cool. Na 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 Who to see? Let's see, what are you doing? I'm wondering. person in a while. Except for the ad, like the play and I can't figure out. <laughs> Always fun. I can remember the hmm, well my only problem is you have it set for one and it's not what it is. I kind of feel like I shouldn't raid you then. You know what? Let's just go with Sogeon. Uh, he's a really, really cool dude doing chill. Doing black and white, apparently. Welcome to black white. Yes. Doing whatever they're doing. Uh, but anyways. He's a really, really cool person to hang out with. So, definitely, guys, give him, give him love. Um... I'm gonna try to do this tomorrow, but I don't know if I will. If I do, and if I do, it'll, it'll probably be a shorter uh, time frame than normal. But anyways, I love you guys. I hope you guys see you later. Good night.